Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kieran. In today's video, I would like to share with you part two of my Weight Watchers Wednesday series. And I actually started this series like months ago. Um, and I started the process of being on Weight Watchers and I just had a really hard time sticking to it, which has been happening recently. Um, but I actually ended up recently starting Weight Watchers again and I did, I made a really big change that I think is what's really going to make the difference for me. So in today's video, I would like to talk to you about the big changes that I've made, some things that have been really helpful for me and just, you know, different products that I like on Weight Watchers, different food, um, and, you know, just give you guys an update on how everything's going. So the big change that I made with Weight Watchers is that I decided to, go from being just a, um, from just using the app to being able to attend workshops as well. And there are virtual and in-person workshops. And I really think that attending a workshop is what's made a really, really big difference for me. So I'm actually on my second week of attending workshops. And if you're interested in this, you can attend them either in person or virtual. Um, you can go onto the app or even onto the website and find like a location where there's one that's closer to you. So I really think that having the accountability of having other people there and sort of that community is what has actually been really, really helpful for me. Like I said, this is my second week doing workshops and I love it. I really feel really strongly connected again to the program and I, I just feel like it's making a really, really big difference for me. We had previously gone to a workshop, my mom, my sister and I, for a couple years actually. I started the program, then my mom started, and then my little sister started. And there was a local meeting that we went to in person and we absolutely loved it. And then everything shut down and we um, had virtual meetings that we were attending for a while. And it just was, a, you know, really hard. So I decided to just use just the app. And I even struggled more with just using only the app and not having that uh, virtual check-in. So I've decided to do the meetings again. I think it's really made a huge, huge difference for me. I just feel really, really connected to the program, like I said, and really like a part of the community again. And I feel like when I'm attending the meetings, I feel like I'm not doing it on my own, if that makes sense. So I really like, you know, whether it's virtual or in person, I like being able to have that network of people supporting me and I can support them. I like bouncing ideas off of people and I really like that it just, it makes the process much more realistic and much more achievable for me because I know when I attended my first meeting, just like when I started up again, I felt so much more confident in the process because I was hearing people say things like, my goal this week is to track three days out of all of the days or my goal this week is to um, do activity one day. And I felt like it was so much more achievable because nobody was saying I my goal is to do everything perfect from the very beginning and that's sort of where my mindset has always been with it. I either start it perfectly and keep going perfectly or I just stop. And so having hearing people say like realistic achievable goals definitely made a really big difference for me and I really think that that's that's going to be the, what ch is changing this process for me. I'm really hopeful and I just feel really confident in myself about it this time around. I felt good last time when I shared my last video with you guys, but this time around I just feel like all the pieces are in place. So I'm really happy about that. I really love the meetings, virtual or in person, and it does increase the amount that you pay per month. It is more expensive to do that, but for me, it's like the the piece that glues everything together. And so for me, it is totally worth it. And I'm really excited about that. And my mom and I have started to attend these meetings together, which is really, really exciting, um, the virtual or in person. And that's the other thing that's really cool about the meetings is don't, I'm almost positive, don't quote me, but I think that when you have the membership that is for meetings, like the studio meetings, you can attend as many as you want. Um, there's no limit to the amount that you can attend. So that's really helpful. And um, yeah, it just feels like the meetings, virtual and in-person is really what is like, what is going to make a difference for me trying this again. That's like the biggest change that I've made. And like I said earlier, I'm trying to not be as hard on myself um, when I am in th going through this process. Like, I started tracking it and everything, and I've really focused these first few weeks on just making better choices. 
and you know tracking and everything but not being so afraid of going over my points you know to the point where I'm like really really worrying about it I'm just trying to be more honest with myself and be more aware of what I'm choosing and um, sort of just trying to keep track of myself and in addition to like making those choices I'm only I'm also trying to be aware of how I'm feeling with everything because if you guys have been following my channel for a while you know that I've been struggling with different mental health issues and um, you know those things definitely go together you know um, fitness and health and healthy uh, activity and you know healthy choices and and your mental health it all you know ties together and so I've been really trying to be honest with myself and I've been really trying to be aware of like how I'm feeling what things are making me feel good you know what things are making me feel not so great and just really trying to adjust as needed so those are a couple of the things that have been really helpful for me I also have started to try some different things like try some different types of food and I found some things that have been really helpful for me I found some foods that are really helpful and I'd like to share those with you because if you again if you've been following my channel for a while you know that cooking and making food has been something that's been really hard for me I've made a lot of growth with that with um, having OCD has been really hard with like preparing food for me and so um, recently I've made a lot of growth and a lot of things have changed but it's still a, something that's kind of difficult for me and I was able to sort of find some things that make it easier for me to get into this process um, that also help that don't like trigger my OCD too much if that makes sense so and they're Weight Watchers friendly so some of the things that I found that I really love are um, fat-free whipped cream in a can I think it's ready whip um, I love it I love having it on a little snack at night a little dessert it's so good um, it feels indulgent but it's much lower points than um, like the, the the heavy cream versions um, I also have been really enjoying chocolate rice cakes they are the Quaker brand and they are so good I have one of those with a little bit of peanut butter a banana and a little bit of whip, whipped cream almost every night and it's just like a like an indulgent snack for me because I definitely love nighttime snacks I think the the um, the rice cake only has two points in it so it's really like not too too much on the points um, I've also found some really great like steamable bag options so what I actually was doing when I was in school I have a um, a Weight Watchers thermos that I that I actually got because Weight Watchers at one point had rewards that you could get and then you could use those rewards to buy things in their store and I was able to buy a thermos like a, a tumbler and then a thermos and so what I've been doing is I've been taking that Weight Watchers tumbler and I was I found some low point like microwavable meals and it's like riced cauliflower um, there's a brown rice one there are di several different versions of the rice cauliflower like there's a southwest version a teriyaki version a parmesan garlic version and the points range from like two points to like four or six points a bag um, which is just great and then I will also add in again to make things easier for me pre hard boiled eggs you can buy them usually in like a six pack at the store and those are zero points on Weight Watchers which has been really helpful for me oh I have also been enjoying using the liquid egg um, because that is already pre-scrambled so I don't have to worry about cracking the egg and um, you know I would sometimes get triggered by the shells that would sometimes get into when you crack an egg you know sometimes there's a shell in it that was something I struggled with with my OCD so I really haven't been worrying about that because it's already pre-scrambled for me eggs are zero points so I'm able to um, literally just open it and pour some egg into the skillet and I've also been enjoying the Thomas's English muffins I think they're the light maybe 100 calorie muffins those are only two points for the muffins so I love that and it's super filling I'll make like an egg and cheese sandwich oh with um veggie sausage as well that's only one point per sausage patty so um those are just some things that have been really helpful for me I'm going to try to make some Weight Watchers friendly donuts because I love donuts I love sweets um and I shared before with you guys a like a cook with me of Weight Watchers muffins that use a sugar-free um cake mix and then pumpkin canned pumpkin and I'm going to try I actually got like a little donut maker I got a donut maker and then a donut hole maker at the thrift store so I'm going to try to use those to make some of those um some like Weight Watchers friendly donuts 
Um, I also thought about maybe using the donut maker to make little like egg like bites. I don't know if you guys have had it at Dunkin. They have like, um, they're almost in the shape of a donut, but they're like egg whites with veggies and a little bit of cheese. And I was thinking maybe I could use the donut maker to make those. Um, and oh, another thing that I really loved, Weight Watchers pizza dough pizzas. So it's a combination of self-rising flour and non-fat plain Greek yogurt. And you can make a pizza dough with that. And then you can find zero point tomato sauce. And I like to use the points that I have on the cheese because I tried the non-fat mozzarella and the non-fat cheddar cheese. It's like Kraft brand. I do not like either of them. They do not melt nicely. Um, and they just don't taste great to be quite honest. So I'd rather use my points and be able to have some cheese that actually melts. Um, so yeah, those are some of the things that have been really helpful for me. Um, like I said, I'm going into my third week. So when I weighed in this past weekend, I was down three pounds, which is awesome. Um, and I'll have to see how it goes this week. I really, I feel like this is, it's gonna, I don't know how to say, it. I feel like this is the piece that was missing in my journey before was that the meetings, the meeting for me is like, it's the, the game changer for this plan. And some people can do the plan, you know, with just following the app, there is the community tab on the app. So you do have that connection there, but like, I need to, I need to, you know, I need to talk with people if that makes sense. And you can talk with people on the app, but you know, doing the virtual meetings or the in-person meetings, you're able to really talk to people and, and really hear from them and, like really it can like feel each other's journeys if that makes sense like you can really feel what people are going through and um I'm just really happy that I'm back in the in the meeting realm and um I just feel really positive about it I'm sharing these videos a little bit out of order but I wanted to share with you that I was able to reach my five pounds loss at about five weeks into the program. And this is when I got my little charm that said I lost five pounds. I was so proud. I am right now actually in my 14th week of the program and I just hit 15 pounds and I'm going to share a video with you guys about that. But this was the five pound weight loss charm. I was so proud of myself and I am still continuing strong with the program and I absolutely love it. So if you like these videos and would like to hear more about my journey, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!